Howdy! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Took me a while to get this dang live feed started. Uh, let me make sure I can get my chat open first. So there'll be some silence here, but we're going to inspect, open, read, play the Sinclair ZX80 game with my new chromified system here. Although this is not a chroma game, uh, it's still, this has got the extra memory and everything that I need. So let me make sure I can get into my feed here. So give me a second or five seconds or 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm not good with this life. Well, I am, but I'm, I'm not. Uh, uh, how do I, uh, where do I go? Uh, content. Uh, I want to, I want to be able to chat if I, if anybody shows up, uh, maybe the live thing live. Oh, there, there it is live. And I need to turn off the sound too. Uh, live. There's the link. Clicking on said link. Oh, and there's some advertisement. Uh, I gotta let that advertisement go. And then I need to make sure chat. Hello. So I went ahead and put hello. Oh, good. Hi, Saboteur. Uh, give me a second here. I need to, uh, uh, wipe my nose. <laughs> it's Friday. I've got allergies. And, yeah. So, well, let me turn off this screen, too. Uh, and let me lower camera a little bit. So you can see that what we're going to play with today is the ZX80. Sinclair, ZX80. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I have some fun... ZX80 stuff. Now, I, I have a Chroma 80, which gave the ZX80 a little color uh, and no sound, <laughs> but it's advanced the stage here. We've got some color. And one of the games, and what's unique about this, I was told by Paul, who made this physical version of ZX80, I think he said there's only four copies. Four. And I've got one of them. <laughs> I don't know who's got the other three. Uh, but that is unique. Uh, it's something that I received with my package that I purchased. So I thought we would do an opening of the cassette. This is all factory pack still from Paul. We'll look at the cassette together. We'll try to load it up. Now that could be interesting because on my ZX80, when I played the other game the other day, uh, the Rock Crush or Rock 80 there, it loaded on the first time, and Paul said, wow, that was amazing. It loaded on the first time. So I don't know if we'll have that same luck again today, but we're going to try that. So uh, oh, let me just uh, put in here, hello, everyone. So cool. All right, so let's get on with it. So the ZX80 Mazogs, like I said, is not something you can purchase. Uh and there's only four copies of this. I'll, uh, I'll show that you may be getting some glare from the lighting here. So let me hold it in a few different angles and get my face out of the camera. And so I can kind of show it. But very cool. Oh, uh, uh, a little delayed video there. Oh, there there's some glare. <laughs> anyway, it says Sinclair ZX80, 4K, 8K ROM, and 16K RAM. This has got all of that. Uh, Flicker-free action for the 16K ZX80 with 4K or 8K ROM. Faithful conversion of the ZX81 Classic based on the original code. Features all three game variations of the original. I've never played this before. Did I play the ZX80 version of Mazogs? I may have. I forget things often. Uh, some of the largest animated sprites ever to appear on the ZX80. So let's peel together. So it's not often that you get a factory pack something that you have to peel. So let's see, a peel. And it's one of those that, you know, technically I guess I could have opened it and then flapped it back down, but it's pretty factory packed here. And let's take out Zikaset. And again, we'll hold up in a, a few different angles. It's funny, I'm watching my video right now and everything's delayed on it by... Uh, 10 seconds, something like that. Anyway, it's really cool looking cassette. And uh, let's open it up. And we'll see if there's any print inside. So there is an A and B side to this. 
So cassette looks fun. I'm just holding it at a few different angles. It's a cassette, but some of you kids may not know what a cassette is <laughs> if you're young. Uh, Mazog's 1982 Bug Bite software converted in 2016 by Paul Farrow. I'm going to go ahead and slap this in my... So what I've used, one of the, in my opinion, best cassette players that you can use with practically any computer that needs cassettes is the Aquarius. Is that even in this video? Uh, yeah, it is. So, uh, phenomenal cassette player. My only uh, issue with mine is the digital, or not digital, uh, analog little counter thing on top. I need to put a rubber band thing back on there. And somebody sent me some, and I've been too lazy to put it in. But one of these days, I will. Uh, so, let's get the cassette open. Oh, there's a lot of text on this one. Nothing in here, though. Uh, that's open, but we're going to read off some stuff that shows here. And now you're probably not seeing that too well, but it is uh, there in all of its glory. So let me read. ZX80 Mazogs uh, search through a giant maze hunting for the glittering treasure while avoiding the fearsome Mazogs in this conversion of Don Priestley's ZX81 Classic for the Sinclair ZX80 featuring flicker-free graphics. If you're not familiar with the ZX80, when you uh, type a key on the keyboard, normally, like if you're in basic or something, the whole screen blanks out. <laughs> a little different, a little different, right? Um, you know, it's a pretty toned down computer back there, but it was a computer. Uh, and it was a unique, sexy little white thing. Uh, during a game, find, or during a game, find a prisoner, and they will help guide you in your quest. If you become lost... Press V, V as in Victor, V as in Victory, for a view of your immediate surroundings. So V is view, V is view, i got to remember that. Uh, or Y to display a situation report. Y, how am I going to remember that? I don't know. Uh, y for uh, display a situation report, which provides the option to trade half your remaining moves. Oh, I don't like that. Half your remaining moves. For a sword by pressing T. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to have to keep this handy. So we've got V for view. If I want to see the general view around me. If I run into a bind, I can hit Y to display a situation report, which provides the option to trade half your remaining moves for a sword, which I may need a sword to fight shit by pressing T. So I guess I'll press T if I'm, after I press Y to do that. A brand new feature is the ability to quit the current game at any uh, time by pressing shift space. i got to remember that. So in my last game when I played the Rock Crush game, I, it took me a, a couple of minutes to figure out you needed to... I, I didn't want to reload the cassette again. It took five minutes. Uh, but I fortunately remembered just enough to hit the right key combination after 20 other options I hit. And I was able to restart games. So let me quickly... Uh, let me finish reading this and then I'll check chat to see... If, Anybody's actually even there. Uh, uh, when a game ends, you can examine the maze using keys W, S, H, and J. Press P and is it zero or O to show hide the route to the treasure. Uh, and G to start a new game. Uh, side A is the 4K ROM, and, and this is a 4K ROM. Uh, so uh, type load for the 4K ROM version. Uh, or load, quote, quote, for the 8K, and then start the tape, and then press new line. Now I need to, so next, let me check chat. Then I need to boot up my ZX80, make sure it's all connected and working, and then we'll go from there. And then there's a phone. F you. I'm not talking to anybody today. <laughs> uh, so, uh, hi, is it XAK? Would that be Zach? Uh, hi, Zach. Hi, Saboteur. Uh, Kim is trying. A ZX80 is currently the top of my wish list. Yeah, I'm happy to own one. So, uh, Oscillate128, howdy. Uh, Saboteur, holy crap, haven't loaded from cassettes since my C64 days. Wow. Yeah, I've uh, early on when I purchased my Sinclairs, I did quite a bit of cassette loading. Now with the magic of the next and SD card, I don't do as much, but I still do. Um, even my Atari 800, I've done uh, cassette loading there and cassette loading here periodically. So, yeah. Uh, Captain LeChuck, hello, uh, the Bug Slayer 345, hi. Okay, so, uh, let's turn on this computer. So, 
as before, if you watch my ZX, there's no power buttons on pretty much most of the Sinclair computers. I think all of them technically, right? None of them had a power button. Even the plus two, plus three, none of that stuff had it. You've got to plug in the power supply and either plug it in back here. I prefer to plug the power cord in here because the, the ports are not la they're labeled, but they're underneath. So you, and you want to plug it into the right thing. On these older ones, it uses the same type of 3 or 1.8 millimeter jack or whatever. So you can easily plug a power supply plug into like the earphone jack or something and screw shit up. So I made sure it's plugged in. Now I'm going to go underneath my desk, which I call Shelop's layer because there's tons of cables down there. And I'm going to plug it in and see if we get video here. Hopefully I do. So, oh, I'm getting old and bending over like this is hard. <laughs> plugged in. Okay, looking up. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, 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 I got video. I was worried there for a second. Can you believe how crisp and clear this video is? Now, by the way, am I coming in okay? Maybe you can post a note down below, but am I coming in kosher here? Am I looking okay? I mean, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> uh, what do you think the best retro computer? Uh, if I had to choose one, uh, well, you're talking vintage or new modern? Uh, let's say both. So. If I have to pick one vintage computer that's my favorite, Atari 800, it was my first computer. What is my current modern retro computer that's 8-bit? The Specky Next. I love the Specky Next to, be, uh, to pieces. I love it, yeah. Uh, that is a nice doorstop. <laughs> it is, but it's an expensive one. If you want to spend 300 and some odd dollars on a doorstop, you be my guest. So no doorstop here. I, I'm going to use the hell out of this little sucker. Uh, why in God's name would they not put an on-off switch? Yeah, that's Sinclair for you. Sinclair, uh, I don't know if they cut corners uh, to save two pennies each computer or what, but it is bizarre. Even the Specky Next carried on that lineage, but there are inline power switches, which I have for my Specky Next. So technically there is an on-off button, but you've got to reach, you know, the cord three, uh, you know, five inches back or whatever and flick a switch. So uh, sound is good. Okay, thank you, Saboteur. I have an uh, Oscillate 128. I have a C64 and an Amiga 500. Uh, I got in 87. Cool. And you saved them all this time? Good for you. I was stupid. When I got married in the 90s, I got rid of all my old computer stuff. Atari Mega ST, Atari 800, you name it. I got rid of it all. And then I've had to recollect it all back again. So uh, the moral of the story, if don't get rid of your old original stuff. Keep it, because you're going to end up buying it back for a lot more than you gave it away for. So don't be stupid like me. Uh, Ego Chip, my favorite 8-bit is an Amstrad CPC. I have not went into the Amstrad layer yet, other than, technically, even though it's Sinclair, but the Plus 2 and Plus 3 are Amstradified owned uh, Sinclair, so I guess technically I may own an Amstrad, but not an Amstrad, if you know what I mean. One day, but I, I've got so many computers, I, I'm I kind of having a hard time now just giving enough attention to each one. Uh, Stephen Elliott, cost, Saboteur, yep, agreed. Uh, Oscillate 128, the C64 is nice. Uh, Neil Kremens, Sinclair was all about cutting corners. Its big selling point was price. I think it launched at about 99 uh, which was cheaper than the C64, uh, hence no power switch. <laughs> Uh, yes, TJ, I did the same. Brought all of them back again with interest. Yes. Uh, Steven, you're in my same party. Yeah, that's sad, but we did the same thing. Saboteur says, still have my original C64 and all the discs. No idea if it still works. Uh, Chronosoft UK, Specky Auric Atmos for me. I've got a Auric Atmos. You know, I need to use it more, but uh, some of the keys stopped working properly, and I kind of rest of the side, but I've got an Arebus for it. I've got uh, a lot of expansions and stuff for it, but it's a little more cable-y, jostly, hard to connect up, so if things are harder, they tend to get less use around here, so uh, I need to find a, a better remedy to keep it connected permanently, but I just don't have the space. Ego chip, sometimes, though, getting rid of things is a necessity, like when you are in a situation where you need to pay rent, and, the fam and feed the family, and the only way to do so is to sell your things. Yeah, I understand. Uh, and I'll read one last one, and then I've got to start loading this. Uh, actually, let's load, and then I'll read, because this is going to take like five minutes. So, <laughs> so I've got the cassette in here. Let me hit rewind. Okay. 
And then I need to uh, do load. Uh, load is the, um, uh, where, where's load? <laughs> Lo oh, I just did this the other day. Uh, load. load. It, it should be J, isn't it? Isn't it J? Oh, no. It's W on here. Load. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to hit play and new line. And then it goes into this uh, mysterious black screen that gets you butt puckered for a while to think, is it going to load? Is it going to load? Hopefully we get some rostering and fluctuation going here. Then I can go back to reading. Now, on at least the Chroma 80 game, the Rock Crush one I just did, after it goes through the initial black screen, then it brings up all the fluctuating stuff. I don't know if it's going to do that in this Mazogs because this is not a chromified game, but it is taking advantage of the extra memory and stuff. So there we go. Okay, good. That's a good sign. So let's uh, let's let's uh, look at the chat here. Uh, uh, Neil Crinnan's got a C64 recently. Any idea on cable to use it on a modern TV? I don't own any comedy products. I did at one time, but... I, I joke with my Commodore friends because I attend an, a yearly Ami West event here in California called Ami West, uh, and they dig into my Atari, and I dig into their Commodore. Uh, but I'm thinking that it's going to be similar RF. Uh, didn't the Commodore 64 have a regular RF cable uh, that connects to pretty much every TV ever known to man? Even modern TVs now still come with an antenna lead, don't they? Uh, so I would think a regular RF connection, but... Yeah. Uh, somebody with C64 knowledge can probably chime in there. Uh, let's see. Who else have we got here? Ego Chip. I wish I could have kept a lot of things from my past, especially my music, but unfortunately I fell on hard times. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, this was my first computer for Phil Hill. I upgraded to the ZX81, which I think is the only computer you can really upgrade to a ZX81 to. Uh, it's amazing, Ego Chip, how it takes five minutes to load a few kilobytes from tape. Just earlier, I transferred two gigabytes of files to a USB drive, and it took three seconds. Yeah, time has really uh, cruised on for capabilities of computers. I remember on C64 starting to load from cassette a game called Telenguard, and then going outside to play for 20 minutes while it loaded. And then you came back in the house and found that it stopped loading, and you swore like a dickens going, F-word, ah! And then you started it all over again, because we've all been there and done that. It's not too pleasing. Uh, Saboteur, I remember on a singular, the loaded game, cassette game called, yeah, so Saboteur, uh, yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Uh, Stephen Elliott, Chronosoft, one little ghost is too good. Uh, I need to buy some other ZX81 and 80 games. I'm slowly getting my ZX81 here in the United States, Timex 1000 is what I have. But I do have, here in the United States, ZX80 was official. And dealers did sell them. Uh, and then when the TX uh, or TS-1000 came out from Timex, that sold more than what a ZX81 uh, did. Even though you could probably, from some dealers, buy a ZX81. But if Timex was here, it's the same computer, basically. So, uh, Hi, Matt Myers. Hi, TJ. I'm messaging you from the same state and time zone for the first time. Any other Americans in the chats beside me? <laughs> Uh, Ego Chip, the dreaded read error on a CPC. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oscar Late 128, I used to type in the games in the in the back of Ahoy Magazine. Yeah, typing in games was fun. And then saving them on cassette and hoping the save saves. I'm pretty anal when, it save, when I do saves, though. Like, when I'm working on my own games and creating something, I save, like, every freaking five, ten minutes. Just save. Save. I'm really anal that way because I'm afraid to lose all that work. Uh, because remembering what I just typed in is a little harder for me. So I save like a Dickens for sure. Uh, Oscar 128 I would put a pillow in the chair and start typing. Yeah, cool. Uh, the Bug Slayer. You make me laugh when you say some random curse words. <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. I like to... I don't... I mean, I say the F-bomb every once in a while. But most of my swearing is pretty toned down. You could probably get any 10-year-old kid right now on the street. He would out-swear me like crazy because mine's like a, you know, a son of a bitch. I love saying that. Oh, there you go. There's no sound. with. Oh, this is interesting. i got to run this. So this has come up with a program. So i got to read here. Uh, run USR 16603. 
A lot of REM statements. Mazogs, 1981 by Don Priestley. Uh, ZX80, 4K ROM conversion uh, by fruitcake.plus.com. This is a, uh, a conversion that uh, Paul made. So I'm guessing run. So R for run and then new line. Oh, look at that, I got a game. <laughs> uh, amazing. Look at those sprites. I mean, that thing, look, look at my hand. Look at how big that, that sprite is. It's like as big as Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Uh, Amaze Adventure Game. There's X's and uh, flickering. That looks like a frog, but maybe it's a spider or a Mazog. <laughs> Mazogs. Look at that. It's going Mazogs, Mazogs. It's like a banner thing. This way, this way. Uh, it, so it looks like a maze game. Uh, now I need to read. How do you start to do it? i got to lean up camera here for a second. Pick my nose. Okay, so uh, was it G? Uh, G to start a new game. Uh, during the game, blah, 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 blah. when a game ends, uh, I'm reading here. I think it was G. I'm trying to find the letter. Brand new for you. When a game ends, you can examine stuff. Uh, and then G to start a new game. So we're going to G it. Now, how do you move them? See, this thing doesn't tell you how to move. Uh, oh, shit, I didn't connect the joystick. Now, I don't know if this is a joystick capable. I'm going to have to use the keys on this, son of a bees weasels. Uh, let's just hit G. Oh, shit. <laughs> G. Oh, okay. You had to try it out. Face the challenge. I'm leaning up here. here. Uh, try it out. Face the challenge. Maniac Mobile Mazogs. Press the number to choose. We're going to try it out first. So, one. Use keys W, A. Oh, it went too fast. Did you read those keys? <laughs> oh, shit, the screen's black. What's what's going on here? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, it came back. The video went away for a second. That was weird. Use keys W, A, D, and X. Or W, S, H, and J. Uh, so, W, A, uh, w A D W A D. I'm trying to get my bearing straight. And X. Okay, I, I think I'll try those. Or W S H. No, I don't like. Oh wait, wait, wait. W S H and J. That could work. That might get me to move. Okay. Uh, and then maze ready. Press any key. Okay. So W S H W S and then H and J. Okay. I'm guessing H and J are left and right, and W S should be up and down. One would hope. Okay. Any key to start. Okay, I'm in here someplace. Uh, which one am I? Am I the S? No, I can't be the S. Which way? Okay, press L or R. What, what's that mean? Which way? Press, I'm going to get, I'm a right-handed person. I don't know what that means. R, press any key for information. Checking distance. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the screen, uh, when the, the situation report moves to the treasure equals 256. Press any key for the game. So I, I okay. <laughs> What's going on? There I am. I went through some mealy stuff there. Okay, so let's try. So uh, I'm going to try to go right. So was it H and J? Yes. So J is that H is left. Okay, good. Uh, and then up is uh, uh, W and yet. Yeah. Okay, now I got my name straight. Now look at how Herkin again. That's my hand. That that dude's a big ass. Now can I get in there? I want the sword. Uh, can I get the sword? Yes. Uh, no, I got an H. Okay, can I go up? I got the sword. Look, he's got a sword now. Okay, good. Uh, so J, J, J. Oh, there's another sword. Okay, S down, S down. I'm just going to be p uh, pillaging here for a little bit. I'm walking around, uh, not knowing where I'm going. But look at how big this, this dude is. He's working. <laughs> you know, I'm guessing the, why the screen went black. It was computing something. It said flicker free, but the whole screen went black. So maybe it was computing something uh, high high definition and they need to figure out stuff to bring the video back. Or my, my system's having a little hiccup. Oh, there's something. Do I want to go fight that thing? Now, don't I supposed to get uh, a, a, a hero or something to go mind mill? <laughs> What's that? There's blinking eyes in there. 
I don't think you can go in there. This, oh, it's saying this way. Okay, I'm going this way. Oh, let's go fight him. Fight, fight. <laughs> it's it's squirmishing. I won. Apparently I won. So the fighting, but I lost my sword. So I fought. Now I need to go collect another sword. But look, is this game timed? I don't think so. Let me read here in case there's any good information <laughs> like I need. Uh, let's see. That's why I like the CPC so much. It had everything built in. No messing around with external decks and stuff. That's Ego Chip. Uh, Phil Hill. I never had a tape recorder that worked with my ZX80. So, so I am two for two. ZX80 on both cassettes. Like I said, the Aquarius tape player has been my best tape player uh, to date. Now, I purchased three others before this, and only one of those three worked, but it's Herkin. This one's been my go-to for a while. Uh, Phil Hill. Uh, I feel like you have to use the keyboard to play ZX80 games. Uh, it adds to the whole experience. Yep. Chronosoft uh, UK. Don Priestley made some fantastic Spectrum games. Trapdoor uh, Minder. Uh, Popeye and Flunky. Matt Myers, I remember you from the uh, Zypho, Zypho and Nova Bugs live streamed Ego Chip. Uh, Matt Myers, is Mazog's 80 an old game or a homebrew game, TJ? Uh, Mazog's, this is like from 2016 that Paul Farrell supposedly, at the beginning of it I read, he converted it from an old game. So this is a newer version of Paul's uh, tinkering, but the game is from uh, er earlier than that, to my knowledge. Uh, Raze Ogs is an old ZX81 game that never got a ZX80 release at that time. Uh, the Bug Slayer, he learning. Uh, okay, thanks, Colonel Soft. Okay. Um, okay, I need to go get a sword. Uh, H? Up. Uh, right. Got a sword. Okay. Uh, back up. So now, now, is it the amount of moves? I think it basically was saying you need to... Uh, oh, I'm at a dead end. Up. Uh, Now, I'm guessing these dots, do that mean I haven't pillaged down that direction before? They're not disappearing, so I, I would say no. Or maybe that's saying that I'm dropping some droppings, like a rabbit, saying I've been there before. I don't know. <coughs> I need to take a drink. Do I have any water in this room? Hold on. <laughs> droppings. Mm. How's my cup? wipe my nose. Allergy day. Okay. So let's see if my... Uh, so I'm going to go down here and see if some dots appear. <clears throat> J. Down. Down. Yeah, dots are showing up. Okay, so that's it. I am plop, dropping and plopping along the way uh, to, 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 to mark my path. That makes sense. Okay, cool. And there's that spider thing. I've already fought one of those. I don't know if that gives you any... What's that, though? That, that, that little thing freaking me out. Oh, let's fight. There's no sound effects, so you got to make your own in these games. And I won, but I lost my sword. And I guess that's the, the MO of this game. You're going to lose your sword every time you fight. Oh, I can't fight you. I don't have a sword. Screw that. Now, how do you get in there? Oh, that's what, you know, when you go in there, it's giving you this way. It's giving you a tip. That maybe, it, I, I don't comprehend things too well. <laughs> uh, so, oh, it's, other, this way disappeared. You, you got to go really fast. You can't babble on. No, I was just there. I don't want to go there again, you bastard. Am I trying to get out of this dungeon? <laughs> Let's go left. That's not good. Oh, and that's not good. That's that. So what were the keys? Let's check the keys. So there was the view. So there's view. Okay. So the... Oh, it's fast! These programmers do stuff fast. It's, it's kind of like I got to... I, I need it permanent until I choose not to go there. V, where am I? Am I 1? Am I F? <laughs> Son of a bitch! It gives me no time to decipher. How many times can you view? View. Uh... View. <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
Okay, I, 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 I'm that dude. Okay, so you. I'm this number one. So I'm going to go. I need to go backtracking because I'm stuck in a rut. Down, and, and I need to go that direction. Okay, I think. And what was the other letter uh, that we could do? We could um, uh, do a uh, situation report for Y. Moves to the treasure. Okay, so the treasure is 217 moves away. That's a long way. Press any key for the game. So now, did that, that, that took my sword or that did something. I don't know what it did. Okay, so let's um, write, oh, write down, write, 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 down, write, write. Oh, I never stopped my cassette. I can start rewinding that now. So the little droppings that you have... Oh, I need to go get that sword. Got it. Nice. Okay, view. Where am I? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Is that me here? The X now? I, I... X, 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 V. See, I'm confused on who I am. There's S. Uh, S and P. S and P market. Uh, I don't know. It's too fast for my little brain. <laughs> okay, we're going up. Oh, this gives... This is where it gives... Am I going to... Let's see if I lose my sword when I check this out. Check it out, and then I need to go this way. This way. Go fast. Keep going. Okay, it, it was pointing me in this direction. Stop. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go fight. I didn't lose my sword, though, so fight, 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 fight. But I'm going to lose my sword. Okay, you fight. As long as you got a sword, you're all right. H. Up. I'm trucking now. Oh, I don't want to fight you. Oh, you suck. Let's fight him bare hand to hand. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's squirming. Oh, the spider thing won. Uh, death to all treasure seekers. You got to see me get my, my death of me. That's awesome. Uh, press M to examine the maze. Yeah, let's do that. Now stay when I hit you, M. Uh, press G for another. Okay, so M. Now stay. Okay, so apparently here was an out. Are these all outs? Are these all ways to get out? See, this little destruction doesn't say X mocks the spot. I'm guessing those X's are those uh, bug things I've been fighting. Uh, maybe some of these, what's P and F? Uh, P, F, do you know what those are? I'm asking in the, the section here. Let's, let's see if anybody knows. So there's letters P, S, and X. I'm guessing the X's are those monsters that I've been fighting. What are S and... P's. Okay. Let's see if anybody knows. Okay, I'm reading just in case anybody knows. Uh, okay, girls off. Now you've done I'm going to have to get out my C64 Mini this weekend and play some games. Saboteur. Good morning, Eric Lamb. How are you? Uh, this game is amazing. <laughs> Ego chip. Sorry, Al. Sit in the naughty corner. Ha. Huh. So anybody here that's played this game, what are the P's and the S's on the screen? You may not know, and that's probably why no one's answered yet. But uh, this is the map of it. Now I'm guessing these here, all these whited areas are ways out. <clears throat> so you kind of know what the maze is. And if you've got photographic memory, maybe you can remember how to get out. But we're going to try to play another game. Uh, and see, but uh, if you're here to see me successfully get out in 200 and whatever turns, it's not going to happen. I, I I don't play games that way. I'm just I'm here to have fun and try it. But anyway, G P equals oh Phil Hill P equals prisoner that helps you the door. Okay, so now are those little eyes things that have been in the walls the the P's that you I've been touching. And then it shows go this way. Maybe that's what those are. I'm guessing. Okay. 
So uh, this way, okay, so, uh, gee. So face a challenge. So I tried it, we're going to do a different thing. We're going to do face a challenge too. And I already know what keys I'm going to do. Black screen thinking, maybe this is where it's drawing in the maze. It's got a conundrum. Uh, and there we go. Okay. So press any key. F. So there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to... And S must be sword. S is sword. P is prisoner. Yeah, I got the ticker ticket. Okay, and then R. I don't know what th these choices mean, but press any key for information. Okay. Uh, checking distance. So it's telling me how to... Uh, probably the uh, distance to get the hell out of here. Moves to the treasure 175. You have 700 moves to go. You gain 70 for a kill. You lose 15 for each view. This report takes 10. So every time I hit view, I was losing 15 points. This report takes 10 moves. A uh, press T to buy a sword. Uh, I guess I could buy a sword and go against the monster like last time. Do not go against the monster without a sword. Otherwise, you're dead. Good to know. Okay. Good. Okay, so let's go get a sword. I didn't get the sword. <laughs> now I got the sword. Okay. Now we're just... We're going to go fight. Fight the son of a bee's weasels. And then I'm going to touch this view. Up. Okay, up. Come on, go right. You bastard. Oh, shit. It wasn't moving. Oh, well, it's the membrane keyboard here. It's like a board. So I didn't... You, you don't get too much info. Now, I wonder if you hit that view thing and then go to the map screen, if it shows you all the view to your final destination. No idea. Oh. Okay, buy a sword. What was that? It wasn't a letter. Buy a sword. T. Didn't I just hit T? It's not buying me a, a sword. I don't have enough money. <coughs> I'm guessing. So No, I don't want to go touch you. So I need to go find a sword. Down. At least I'm cruising around here a little better. So this, this is a fun game. It, it's slow and plodding, kind of like me. Uh, oh, there's a sword. Yeah, but how do you get in there? Uh, can I buy it? T? No. <laughs> so apparently you can't get to that one. That's, that's a mean. Truck in. I'm a truck in. Okay, that's a dead end. Now I'm backtracking. Oh, shit! I didn't mean to touch you! Oh, no, I'm gonna be dead. No, I'm not! Amazing! So you can kill that slug bitch with, uh, without a sword. I don't think I had a sword. Okay, so apparently this direction wasn't good. I'm backtracking. I'll have to plug in my joystick the next time I load this game and see if the joystick works with it. Nothing in the destructions said that it did, but... Okay, this... Oh, this way. Up, up. J, J, J. Down. Oh no, you bastard! Am I gonna die? Fight, fight, fight! Kick his ass! Kick it! Kick it! <laughs> oh, you fartnik! Death to Alter. So, I don't think you want to keep playing this game forever, but it is pretty fun. Uh, I'll play offline for a while, but press M to examine the maze. So, uh, let's just hit M for one last time. 
So here's the whole maze. Now it should it it would be nice if it showed me where. Well, here is. It, am I in here? Is that why there's some dots over here? Uh, it, it should put something to signify it's me, but I don't see that. Uh, I, I could be just blind. But anyway, you want to call this a wrap? Let me look at the text here, and then we'll we'll see if this is a wrap. So yes, the eyes. Okay, thank you, Phil. Uh, ego chip. It's amazing what people can get these to do, considering how simple they are. Phil Hill, it's a 50-50 chance to win without a sword. Okay, good to know. This is quite a complex game for that little computer. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, because Eric's one of my buddies, my Amiga buddies, my Commodore buddies. I think he was going to say, this is quite a complex game for uh, that little mind. <laughs> my little mind. He would say something like that, especially on an Ami West night on a Saturday after we've been drinking for a while, so... All right, let's call this a wrap. I don't know how long I've been on, but thank you for joining this little uh, pillaging. At least you get the gist of the game. I hit most of the keys. I started understanding P's are for, uh, what is it again? P for pupil, prisoner. <laughs> prisoner. Uh, the X are, are the monster things. Uh, and then where I am, I still haven't figured it out. Uh, there's no other number one. Wasn't there a number one at some point that was signified me? But there's some dots here, so maybe it's saying I was over here in this general map. And then uh, I did try to buy a sword. It wouldn't let me. Maybe I didn't have enough points or whatever to do it. But So anyway, thank you, Paul. ZX80 Mazogs. I'll play offline and try to learn a little bit more about the game. But yeah, the ZX80 uh, Chromified, it would be cool if they ever come out with a color version of this. And I would love one day that if the ZX80 threw the Chroma 80 can add sound. My ZX80 with ZX Span, uh, or I should say my Timex TS1000 with a ZX Span, uh, can do sound. So there are some games that you can create that have sound as you're playing. I've only found one game so far. I'm sure there's others. But I used joystick, and there was sound. It was all there was no color, but it was sound and and uh, joystick on a, a, a ZX81 basically, which is cool. I don't know if that will ever become a capability with the Chroma 80. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. Fun little device. Fun game. ZX80 Mazogs. I'll put it up here to kind of show you one last view of the cassette. And let me see if there's any new texts. Matt Myers by TJ. Uh, Eric laughed at me. Uh, ha! No, I don't uh, know what you are talking about. <laughs> You're right. Uh, this was a fun uh, thank you. Thanks, Phil. Thanks to anybody that watched this. You have a wonderful rest of your Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Take it easy. Bye. Now i got to walk around the camera and, and turn it off. <laughs> and then hopefully everything recorded right. Now, how do you shut this thing off? You hit the X, and then you say X.